It was good YouTube. This is Who Was Like God. I wanted to make this video because I really think I have a message for the young guys and the young G's out there that we all need to especially take in. Uh, because I was reading through the book of Samuel and there's this passage that we read, but we don't really think about it. But I think it goes to show how relatable things are because human nature is all the same. So even these stories that are thousands of years old, we can, I personally can relate to on a great, in a great level. So uh, 1 Samuel 18, starting at verse 6. And as they were coming home, when David returned from striking down the Philistine, the woman came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing, to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And the woman sang to one another as they celebrated, Saul has struck down his thousands, and David his ten thousands. So it sounds like it should be good, right? Verse 8. And Saul was very angry, and this saying displeased him. He said, They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have for the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day on. Now, a couple of things I want to point out is that it says that the woman, the woman were uh, praising their heroes, their war heroes, and they were praising King Saul. And then they went and praised David ten times as hard. You feel what I'm saying? And as a result of it, this is the first time where Saul starts getting inklings of resentment towards David and actually tries to uh, uh, unsuccessfully assassinate King David well, before he was king in the book of Samuel. So this is where this is the first part where that inkling starts happening. It says Saul started eyeing David after that point, And it's because these women were uh, praising him and they're praising uh, King David 10 times as hard. And I want to go to that. Uh, I want to start at that passage because I think that's really relevant for us today. Because as men, especially as young men, obviously there's a strong desire to want to impress women. You feel what I'm saying? Or impress females, impress the opposite sex. And I get that totally. So the reason I want to bring up this passage is to say to all the young dudes out there and to all the young G's is that don't let your desire for wanting to impress women destroy your friendships or um, if, and, uh, yeah, destroy friendships or what God wants to do in your life or in your brother's life, you feel me? Because I've been in those situations too, you feel me? Because, and I'm accountable to that where, you know, you have a girl and she's being cool with you or whatever and she's being nice and things of that nature and then you see your boy walking and then she's like 10 times that sweet, head over heels for that dude and she's trying to go, I'm uh, uh, um, talking about like at work uh, when she when when she when she on a break and stuff to go see him when they be talking in the break room and things like that, and I've been I've been a little bit salty before because of that, but then I had to check myself because number one these are the, both people that I'm cool with the female and the dude is my brother you feel what I'm saying so the way I see it is if they're not doing nothing wrong, right provided they're not doing anything wrong and they're getting praised for doing something wrong like we see in the music industry. No, if they're just chilling and doing something that's all right, and God has chosen to exalt them in that moment, what reason can I have to be salty or to be jealous about that? You feel me? So it's a two-sided, two-sided coin, two-sided sword, because on one hand, you need to check yourself. We got to check why we get jealous. We should never we should never be jealous of someone who's doing good if they really worked hard or, or, or you know, just were in righteousness when they, when they got that, when they got that thing. The other side is, we should look at it as a motivator, as I've also done work. If you got one dude who's popping off and getting this attention, look at what he did to get to that place and try to replicate that in your own life. So as a young man, I think what we should do is not get salty because now you're in a position where you're now you're feeling some type of way with your own brother. And that's not good on a human level or on a community level. Uh, and number two, is actually look at what he's doing right and try to mimic that in your own life. These two things will help us uh, so we can check ourselves when we get jealous and then respond in the white way versus the way King Saul did. But I bring this up because it's just so crazy. I can perfectly understand why King Saul got jealous. It's not I don't justify it, but I can perfectly understand based on my own experiences. Because as a man, you feel some type of way when a girl you think is cool starts... Um, not necessarily being cold to you. She might be cool, but then another dude walks in and she's like 10 times more feeling him. You see what I'm saying? I, I felt I felt, I felt like, you know what I'm saying? But then I had to check myself. So in my own experiences, which I'm accountable for, I can perfectly understand why all those years ago, 
when the woman were praising King Saul and then King David, who represents the same cause, who's his subordinate, comes along and he gets uh, uh, gassed up 10 times as much. I can honestly understand why King Saul would get so upset because, well, you just got to have discernment and, and self-control because it's, it's self-evident that women can make dudes do crazy things. You feel me? Things they would never do for anyone else and make them act irrational and out of control and violent as we see with King Saul. So it's just crazy. You know, the the, the, the least common denominator of human nature. I can, it, I can understand in 2024, uh, 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 Anno Domini, why all those thousands of years ago, King Saul, you know, totally different cultures, totally different time. I perfectly understand why he got jealous. And it's just so profound to me how human nature is like the one one thing that, that sort of connects all generations of humans. So I want to say, bring up that verse to say, I understand it. But let's look at what King Saul did wrong. Let's use it as an example of, you know, improving ourselves, right? If your friend is doing something right, mimic that in your own life, all right? Instead of getting jealous, what is he doing right that you can mimic? In as long as, you know, God's okay with it, number one. And that also has to do with studying scripture. You feel me? If you, if you were Christian, so that you could discern God's will and God's uh, uh, precepts and proverbs about different situations in life. And number two is, you just got to check yourself. You got to check yourself, bro. You feel me? You should never be in a position to get mad at your brother for doing good, for, for you know, be, being making it farther professionally or, or um, aesthetically or whatever it may be. If they're doing something good, you should be proud of them. Bible talks about reaping with joy those who weep, rejoice with those who rejoice in Romans 12, 15. So we should have that attitude, not one of jealousy. So I just want to make this quick, quick video, y'all, to, 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 Go on the scriptures because I can relate. I can relate to King Saul in that passage, y'all. But we got to check ourselves. So I think a lot of young men can relate to this message. And instead of getting jealous at our own friends, we improve ourselves and use it as a metric to try to honestly think about why am I getting upset at my own boy, at my own brother for doing well. So I understand this. Don't let your desire to impress women. But right? we ain't even talking about women themselves necessarily. The women weren't doing nothing wrong by praising Saul or David. All right. Don't let your desire for wanting to impress women make you destroy your friendships. And like I said, you know, you become so blind, you don't realize God's anointing because King Saul got so jealous, he wanted to king kill David. The thing was, God had anointed David. If he read the scriptures, right, he would be the next king. So Saul was so blinded by jealousy, he was even willing to kill the one whom God had anointed. So that goes to show us that jealousy can make you so blind that now you're not even taking into consideration the most highest plans for you, your family, or even future generations. We could get real deep, y'all. From King David would come the Messiah, who would be Christ. So because uh, uh, um, King David was in God's will, it won't only bless that generation, but all of humanity for the last 2,000 years because Christ gave us a way to access the Father. You see what I'm saying? All that, all that is to say, um, when we're not jealous, because jealous can blind us to God's will, it might not only just affect us, but some generations in the future we may not even know about at all could be blessed if, if, if we're in line with God's will. So that's why we got to stop being jealous, because being jealous can blind you to what God's will is and the generations of blessing that it could have for other people. So with that being said, Y'all be blessing the Most High. Y'all be blessing the Messiah. All the Jesus out there, man, you know, stay on your grind. Stay hustling. You know, put God first and then work to improve your fitness, your finances, all of that stuff. Don't be jealous of someone else. Use that as motivation, y'all. So with that being said, y'all be blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace.